Hi again, everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've um, I recently moved, and I've been busy on my getting my new spot for my layout. Um, I'm going to take you for a walk and show you what I did. Um, this is an option for people that don't maybe have basements or just don't have room for um, for a layout. Now, as everybody knows, I do end scale, so I'm going to walk back and show you what possibilities can be. Now, this shed is um, 11 by 24 feet, and it was here when I bought the house. It was basically a shell. Chicken's over there making noise. Um, basically a shell. I had to put a new roof on. It was in bad shape. I could see the sky when I walked inside there. Now, I also have everything out on the outside is solar. I have solar here, solar there. So at night I have solar over there, shining on the side. I have, I just recently added the awning because of the fact that when I, without rain gutters, but when I come out here to go in, the rain was running right down my neck. So in order to open the door, unlock it. So here's the inside, just a, like I say, a standard shed. I made room for my lawnmower. So when I sectioned it off, there's my door there. When I sectioned it off, obviously you can tell I do Pennsylvania Railroad. That's a start. That's about all I have in here that resembles anything of a, with what it's going to be. Now here's the room. I finished it. I, it's uh, this particular room here is 11 by 15. Uh, the other space out front here is for the lawn equipment and stuff like that. So here's the room completed. I did, uh, I complete, you know, it was like I say, it was a shell. It, it, it basically looked like that. So I had to do the electric and the drywall and made myself a little attic up there for storage and plenty of outlets. I made them a little higher than what standard ones are because they'll be closer to the bottom of the layout and when I'm running cords and stuff. So, uh, presently I have my little workspace set up. I've got my 3d printer going, making something. Um, I make most of my structures with the 3d printer. It, it's amazing. And I, I try to, sell some when I can, uh, make a little money for towards the layout, but this, it's just a possibility. I mean, um, I've already got my wood for the bench work, which will, I'll start. I'm going to have it about maybe a little less chest high, I guess, maybe. Um, that's pretty much it. That's where I'm at so far. I wanted to get this all done for the fall season so I can come out here and start actually start with the layout and laying track and stuff like that. Um, it's climate controlled. I have air conditioning in here. So everything's on, uh, on a dimmer. So when I go do my layout, I, I'll be able to bring the lights down just to where I want them to. And I do my night scenes to where it's all the way off. So yeah, I think there's one, two, three, four, there's five, four foot, light bars for my space. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this corner here. I'm going to have a turnaround. It'll be a mountain or under the city and it'll run along the wall. It'll come to this spot. It'll curve here. This is going to be the whole city section right here. Let me back up a little bit. This whole wall right there is going to be my city section which I'll have my GG1s and my catenary and all that stuff. I'm not going to bring it all the way around to the catenary. It's going to go into countryside like it's just too much. And same way on this side. It's going to be against the wall. It's going to come around, circle over, and back again. Like a, I guess a, you call it a dog bone, but it's going to go through a mountain or under a city or something and come back again. Now, my, my bench, my table work I made, so it's going to actually, it's not going to be, it's not any wider than what my bench work's gonna be. I made sure when I did this that 
I learned from my last layout and I made it on a door, I couldn't reach the far end for any kind of cleaning. So I'm, when I do this, I have plenty to get to clean track and get derailments and everything else. So everything here made is gonna be lower than the bench work. So this will be under the bench work. So I can either, I'm gonna put them on wheels and I can pull them out if I want to work on and then tuck them right back under the, under the layout. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And just to give people ideas of what you can do if you don't have room in your house, you can uh, either have a shed delivered or use your existing shed. Uh, but this room here, 11 by 15, is quite large for an end scale layout. It'll work out just fine. So this eventually is going to be carpeted out here. It's just is what it is right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll keep everybody posted um, with my progress. I figured maybe about another three, four weeks I'll start with the bench work going around. At least I'm going to start on this end and maybe get a layout done here and operating with track. And then as I time allows and years go by, I'm, I'm eventually going to expand it down here, but I'm going to focus basically on this far wall, having my city section here. I've got all my structures and buildings, plus I make high rise buildings and stuff with my printer. So everything basically is already there. So I don't need to spend time building all the buildings like I did last time and purchasing them and everything's there. So it's, a, it's just a matter of setting them down, running the power to them, laying the track and I'm doing some scenery. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of water scenes in this. Um, I do like uh, rivers and stuff like that. So I'm making a lot of bridges. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So if you like the video or if I gave you any ideas, um, like I said, the possibilities there, if you don't have room, in your house and i think i like it too is you can be out here banging you can play music you can play your loud train sounds whatever you want to do and you're not disturbing anybody my wife works night so sleeps during the day so this worked out perfect so there you go if you like it uh give me a like subscribe to my channel there are other videos i have on when i did my uh, end scale layout on a door check that out and um i'll see you next time